The next major area we need to cover is PSA recurrence or cancer recurrence. About 70 to 80 percent of people in Australia are cured of their cancer with surgery or good radiotherapy. That leaves 20 or 30 percent of people who will get a recurrence. Why do we have such a high chance of that? Mainly because many of our cancers are diagnosed slightly later and therefore we're not quite as screened as in the United States where only about 10 to 15 percent recur. So let's deal with Australia. What do we do in those 20 or 30 percent of people who over the next 10 years after their treatment notice that their PSA is starting to rise? Well firstly, we monitor the PSA for a time to make sure it's not just a laboratory error and to get an idea of how fast the PSA is going up. Secondly, you have a close collaboration with your surgeon, your urologist, to make sure he's fully aware of what's happening so that if intervention is required and he feels it's appropriate, it can be done at an early stage. Finally, it's important sometimes in these cases to get various imaging tests done, such as a bone scan or a CAT scan or an MRI to find out to the best of our ability where the recurrence is. Sadly, most of these tests are inaccurate when the PSA is very low and don't guide our therapy terribly well. So what then does guide our therapy best? The best thing is how quickly the PSA goes up. But not only that, but what the original pathology looked like. Was it a cancer which was outside of the shell and up to the margins, in which case a local recurrence is more likely? Or was it a cancer which was high grade outside of the shell but with a negative margin in which case it's more likely that the spread is in bones or lymph glands. Why do we need to know the difference? The big reason is because if it's a local recurrence after surgery we can still offer another potentially curative treatment with radiotherapy at a much reduced dose with much reduced side effects. And the earlier that's delivered, the better the outcome. And these days, with modern treatments of what we call salvage radiotherapy, we can cure many of these patients and only have about a 1% chance of bowel damage, which is considerably improved over the last 10 to 20 years.